Hello, everybody. This is Bumpy Gaming back here once again. And, you know, I would label this a first impressions video, but, you know, between the thumbnail and the title, I would like to get some views off of this, especially this being a newly released game. Uh, yeah, Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. And, um, I actually got this for free off the Epic Games Store. Yeah, like, today, September 12th, when I'm recording this, into next Thursday, the 19th, this game is free on Epic. You know, plus, it was like $25 everywhere else. I just didn't really want to pay that much. Yeah, especially because I heard this game is a little short, so... Yeah. Oh, and also, before we start the video, the Epic Games Launcher, I realized, is absolute dog shit. If you want to, like, launch Epic Games stuff, and, like, GOG and stuff for that matter, I would highly recommend the Heroic Games Launcher. It, like, it doesn't take up as much space... You know, it doesn't, you know, pause your game every so often. Like, every five seconds. So, um, yeah, I'll leave a link to it in the description. The Heroic Games Launcher. Special shout-out to that. Um, anyways, yeah. Now, here's a game... Okay, I have a save file here, but... Yeah, I have a save file, but I'm gonna... I deleted it. You know, I just wanted to make sure the game ran on my PC. And, you know, I did, I really only played the two levels that were in the demo. You know, this one you're about to see, and then the desert level. So let's try this. So, yeah. Bomb. P. There we go. Newborn. Yeah, easiest difficult for beginners, unlimited reason. I actually like what they do here. Newborn, baby, big kid. <laughs> All right, newborn. Let's see, we got Tommy, Chucky... Phil, and Lil. I'm gonna go with Tommy, the main man. Yeah, I remember this level from the demo. Yeah, they released it back in, like, April. Yeah, we need the... We need the screwdriver to open the playpen. You know, it's pretty faithful to Rugrats. Yeah, like I said, I was looking forward to this game for a while. Oh, there's a thing from the intro sequence. Does that ever pop up in the show? I don't recall if it ever did. There's Grandpa Lou. And my personal favorite, Lonely Space Vixens. Uh, but that's for after you go to bed. Oh, Reptar coins. wonder what those are for. Oh, is that an NES I see? Foreshadowing for later. Hey, Pop, can you watch the kids for a bit? Dee Dee and I are going to get dinner started. It's a horrible stew impression. And Pop, try not to fall asleep this time. Fall asleep? Why, back in my day! Thanks, Pop. I'll go fire up the barbecue. As I was saying, uh, back in my... <laughs> Listen up, you dumb babies! I really like the animation on these cutscenes. The game is called Business Lady. I'm the boss, and... Oh, I really like the pan... Well, not pan game. I really like the 2 aspect ratio. Me being a big movie guy at all. You bozos are the suborbians. Now get to work. Hey, Angelica, how come we always got to do what you want to do? Because I say so. That, wait, what's that on the TV? Hey, kids. Oh, what's Susie doing here? Hey, kids, are you tired of playing boring games? Are you dumb babies even listening? Chucky, look. Yeah, Tommy, this looks like it's going to be good. It's Reptar, the video game! Play along with Reptar, collect coins, bosses! What lies beyond the mysterious Reptar door? Oh, that's what that thing was earlier. Adventure awaits! Buy it now! I'm not gonna play the whole game, though. Only play a select few levels. Wow, Chucky, you know what this means? That we don't have any monies? <laughs> that could be a good meme format. No, Chucky! We has Reptar coins! If we find them all, 
Maybe we can open the Reptar door and find the Bibio game. I'm just improvising at this point. I think you're right, Tommy. Babies don't know how to play with Bibio games. We can play better than you, Angelica. Yeah, Angelica. We'll see about that. Just remember, I'm the boss. In that case, oh, Tommy's gonna shank a bitch. Baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Let's see. Got the sandbox, that was in the demo, so I'm not gonna play that level, I don't think. Backyard with this gorilla. Oh, the dummy bears. The dummy bears in the land without smiles. Land without brains is more like it! Love that episode. Living room, well, that's the... That, that's just the opening level. I really like they recreated the intro sequence to a level. Got the bedroom with Mr. Tippy. Attic. So, okay, so it's kind of like a Mega Man type thing. Backyard, Tommy. I'm gonna go with my man, Chucky. He's like my favorite Rugrats character. Tumble in the jungle. Now, here's the big selling point of this game. Like, not only is it in HD, it's in 8-bit, too. And not only that, but the 8-bit version of the game, you could play it on an actual NES if you wanted to. Because they, they made, like, a whole ass cartridge and everything. And I've, I've even, like, back when the demo was up, there was a literal NES ROM of the demo in the files, and I still have it on my emulator. Really hoping somebody, like, patches... Like, like, I'm really hoping at some point somebody uploads this ROM. Assuming it hasn't been done already. Somebody uploads this ROM so I can use it on my emulator. Oh, there's Stu. Surprisingly not making chocolate pudding. And it's not 4 a.m. in the morning either, though given that this is a barbecue, I imagine it's 4 p.m. maybe. You know, barbecues always start late for some reason. Why is the show even called Rugrats, anyway? Is that like some, like, foreign word for baby? I, I never quite got that. But, I mean, it worked, you know, it's, it's a very marketable name, clearly. Though Rugrats, it's easy to forget, like, Rugrats wasn't always a cultural phenomenon. <clears throat> you know, when it first premiered in, like, 1991, I mean, it was moderately popular. It was one of the first, like, original shows that Nickelodeon ever aired. Or one of the first car original cartoons, I should say. Nicktoons, if you will. Yeah, like, yeah, like, R Rugrats was never really that popular. It wasn't, like, w when it first aired, like, I mean, it was fairly popular, but not, like, worldwide phenomenon. And I believe they, like, ended it for a little while in, like, 94, 95, around there. Yeah, but then, like, somewhere in, like, the mid-90s, like, it became really popular in reruns, you know. So much to the point where Nickelodeon ordered Klasky Chupo to make a couple more seasons of Rugrats. And then right then was when, around like the late 90s, was when Rugrats became the big cultural phenomenon. And then compare that to like Spongebob, you know, that was a big hit from the start. You know, whereas Rugrats, you know, it took a little while. Yeah, it's always interesting to think about, and, you know, the people who say, like, Nickelodeon, like, milks Spongebob nowadays, which, I mean, they definitely do, but it's nowhere, in my opinion, it's nowhere near as bad as Rugrats had it. You know, Rugrats had, like, three theatrical movies in five years. So, so, like, something that took Spongebob about, like, 16 or 17 years to do. You know, depending on, well, depending on, you know... If you count Sponge on the Run as a 2020 or 2021 movie, that's a whole other can of worms I won't get into. Yeah, like, people who say, like, Spongebob, Fairly Odd Parents, like, Sp Loud House, people who say those shows got treated badly, like, I'd argue Rugrats had it the worst out of all of them. You know, like, All Grown Up, which I'm not saying that show's bad, it's actually quite good in my opinion, but All Grown Up, like... 
that show was like Klasky Chupo didn't even want to make that show. Like Nickelodeon mandated them to. And you know, you think about like Klasky Chupo, they already had a show about a preteen for Nickelodeon. It was like like as as told by Ginger. Yeah, so you know, it in that regard it did seem a little point. And then fucking we got Angelica and Susie's preschool days, which the less said about that the better. No, oh, there's a there's a grape ape from Hanna Barbera. I didn't know they had Hanna Barbera characters in this. Yeah, remember grape ape? Your grandfather probably told you about grape ape. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, I will admit I did play. I did also play this level too. And man, like the boss fights are a little hard. Ugh! Damn it! Come on! Ah! Man, like you, you really got it. You really got to time that shit. Ah! All right, one more hit. One more hit. Come on! Big money. Big money. There we go. All right, kitchen, living room. Okay, I'm gonna do the kitchen because, you know, I now I want to see what the dummy bears are like. Um, yeah, I'll go Phil with this one. He's kind of busted, in my opinion. Like he's, I feel he's the most... I haven't played a lot of Lil yet, but I do think Phil is the most overpowered character in this. Alright, yeah. We're, we're switching back to HD. Oh, and there's Dee Dee. How do you not notice the baby there? Yeah, I mean, think about it. The adults in Rugrats are pretty neglectful of their kids. You know, which is how these episodes even... Oh! Oh, I... Oh. You know, because the adults, you know, particularly Stu and Drew, like, the adults are always bickering with each other. And you realize, like, they're acting more like babies than the actual babies. Like, really, nowadays, I mostly watch Rugrats just for the adults. Okay, well, this is, um, interesting, to say the least... The title of it's kind of misleading, though. You know, this had me thinking that the kitchen itself would be a level and not, you know, this ice cream world that's apparently in the freezer! Damn it. Oh, it's an ice level because, of course... Oh, isn't that a Wawa, Chucky's teddy bear, from Rugrats in Paris? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Wawa. Ah! Well, now we're in the castle here. Oh, come on. Where's the... How do I get a... Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to do more than I bargained for. Damn it. Bitch. Ah, frick. Oh, okay. Well, oh. What the hell was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, as I was saying before, like, this- I heard this game is pretty short. Like, I saw a playthrough of this game, 
that was only like 45 minutes. Which, I mean, I get that it's also an NES game on top of that, but like, by, by HD standard, by like modern video game standards, like even for something like this, I feel that just doesn't really cut it. I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe I'm just being nitpicky, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and that is sort of a problem I have with these sorts of games. Like, like you can absolutely tell, like. They, they probably thought about doing an 8-bit Rugrats game first, and then the HD stuff was an afterthought. Which, yes, I mean, I get why they did. You know, there is definitely... I'm trying to put myself in the head, in, in, like, the mindset of, like, an executive. Like, there is definitely a market for, like, retro stuff. But, you know, it shouldn't come at the expense of, you know, how short or long the game is, you know? Oh, shit. Now all my ice cubes are... Damn it. Oh, I, actually, what if I do this? No! Okay, let, let's see if I can, like, respawn. Yes, I can! Ah! Frick. Please spawn me. Ah. Oh. oh, actually, maybe I'm close to... Oh. Our video is probably going to be like five hours long at this point. Because I just keep dying. Oh, actually, hold up, hold up. What, oh, hey, what if I, uh, ah. Uh, stop! Okay. Okay, I'll just let myself die here. Come on. Psst, shit. Damn it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is just too troublesome. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Come on. Ugh! Do this shit again. Oh, come. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to I'm going to go to the next level. Oh, I'll, I'll quit to title whatever. Yeah, we got to uh, skip through all that. Yeah, let's see what else I can do here. Um, okay, bedroom. I'm gonna choose Lil for this one. Somewhere in Dreamland. Oh, what, is Kirby gonna show up? Ooh, Spike! <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. I see what's happening. Mm. 
What are these pterodactyl, pterodactyl looking things? Oh, these lips. Magic carpet from Disney's Aladdin. Okay. Wow, they, they are really... Yeah, they're... Mm. Damn it. Come on. Okay. Oh, well, I do like... I will say, I like that these platforms do lock into place. Okay. Is that a Drew Pickles moon? That is a Drew Pickles moon! <laughs> oh my lord, that is cursed. That is cursed. Uh, yeah, that... Oh yeah, that's that's cursed. And I will say, this game is actually fairly difficult. You know, and that's, uh, that's why I'm hoping, you know, s somebody actually rips the NES ROM at some point. That way I can rewind the sucker. Oh, it's a thwomp from Mario. Mm! It would have been funny if I fell. If I fell into the abyss. <laughs> Okay, well, at least I can damage boost, so that's cool. Oh. Mm. Yeah, can I at least get the screwdriver? I'll take it, I guess. Ah! Do I still have the screwdriver at least? Okay, I guess I. Oh wait, no, it's this. It's this, the next one. Tell me, I still have the fucking screwdriver. Oh, okay, I guess I do. All right, let's move on then. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Oh! Okay, this seems easy enough. Mm. Oh wow, this is too easy. Yeah, I'm like barely, I like, wow. Oh my, wow, I like, I barely got hit by, I mean, I got hit, but, God. That was, I'm sorry, that was too easy. All right. Let's go in the attic. I'll have to, you know what, I'll go back to Phil, why not? You, you get a chance to redeem yourself, Phil. Oh, there's Chaz. There's Chaz. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> ah, music. So dangerous. Mm. Oh, there's Cynthia. Not sure who that is. Mm -mm. Damn it. Oh! Go. Where are we go? Ah. Uh, there. Hmm. Oh, there's the screwdriver. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think around here is gonna be where the, where, where the, where the boss fight, where the, or at least the entrance. Yeah, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Let's see what you got for us, game. <laughs> oh, I can just push him around. Okay, that okay, that is okay, that that is yeah. Wow, this is like even easier than before. I I or may or okay, it's a little more difficult. But yeah, that that last boss I fought, that was like that was too easy. Oh, I'm definitely going to need the cook. How did I miss that earlier? Damn it. Mm. Oh, oh, I can get hit. Okay. That's seems a little cheap, but okay. Okay, one more try and then I'll you know what? I'll do the desert stage. Actually, you know what? What if I switch to Lil for this? You know, at least she can float. Oh, okay. The key is just to go very far off the screen. Okay. I see. Yeah, I see what I have to do. Oh, it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. You know what? If I don't make it, you know what? Maybe I will give it one last, last shot. You know, if I can't make... Oh, I... Okay, I did it. I did it. I just realized this might be the kind of game where I have to collect every single Reptar coin. You know, just to fucking... Yeah. Yeah, just to fight Reptar himself, I guess. Um, no, that doesn't matter, though. Um, I'll do the sandbox, and then we'll call it quits on the video. I'll, I want to close this off by, by going Chucky. Actually, 
I'll go I'll go Chucky at first, but then I want to show you guys why I say Phil is overpowered. You know what? I'll switch to 8-bit for this one. No, oh, there's Betty. Okay, look at this. Like, notice Chucky, when he does a ground pound, he can only break one block. But look when Phil does it. Yeah. Actually, I want to see if Lil could maybe do that, too. Well, after, after we do what we gotta do here... Yeah, let's see if Lil... Okay, yeah, l yeah okay, l yeah. Let's see if Lil can... Okay, let's try Phil. Okay, looks like only Phil can do that. Yeah, Phil is overpowered. Yeah, any, any speedrunners out there, Phil might be the character you want to try. There's the... Right, I'm gonna have to remember that's... Because I did get lost on this part during the demo. So, I uh, here I'm absolutely gonna have to remember. Ah! You know what? Oh, I can't even... Uh, see if I can get one out of... Nope. Oh. In either case, I mean, I, I got two cookies, so... I believe there's a third over here, too. Yeah, that jump I just did right there, that is a jump you have to be very precise with. Okay. Oh, fuck, I missed the... All right, yeah. Now I got three cookies. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I got my health back anyway. Now I feel like I have seen this baby before. I think there was an episode of Rugrat. Wasn't he like a bully baby or something? I'm probably misremembering. And, you, and as you can see, he's acting a lot like Bowser in Super Mario Brothers 3. I gotta, I gotta wait for, like, the little buggies to appear! No! 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 Mm -mm. No! 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 Ah! Oh, good. 
Doom doom. All right. Well, you know what? Um, let me go back to the. Li well, just so I can do this. You know, you'll see in a minute. Yeah, see, Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. Mix Games. Yes. Shout out to Mix Games and Wall Ride. And Nickelodeon, of course. I mean, who else? And the in the NES version of this, they have the older Nickelodeon logo. Anyways, yeah. That's gonna just about do it for Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. Very, very solid game, actually. A little short, but you know, that can be excused because the NES thing, but even then, you know, like I said before, you know, it, it seems like they prioritized the NES thing first, and then the HD stuff was an afterthought, but other than that, solid game. Yeah, I, I definitely see a lot of replay value with this. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's gonna just about do it, and until next time, this is Bumpy Gaming going back under the bed, and remember, there are fates worse than death.